So what you want is to find what I call masterpieces. And they have one quality. They're rare and unique. So I've taken some examples in the art world. So the Mona Lisa, a Rothko painting, a Vincent van Gogh painting. And if you want to take some example of business masterpieces, well, I've gone through the history of the capitalist world, in, mostly in the US. And you know, we can start with probably the, one of the first technology company uh, in the 1880s uh, called National Cash Register. They've probably heard of uh, a Hewlett Packard that many years ago was a very innovative company. Apple, IKEA, uh, TG Maxx, Geico, the insurance company owned by Berkshire, uh, Washington Post, HR Block, Dun & Bradstreet, Gillette, McDonald's, Starbucks. I think all these companies, and we could certainly add Google to that lot, these are business masterpieces. So you want to study those kind of businesses and see what do they have that was so unique. And usually the uniqueness in either the product or the service or the culture is the equivalent of having a moat that protects your castle, your economic castle from invaders, which you know are competitors. So that's the key thing. You want to own a moat with lots of crocodiles and piranhas in it. So, you know, competitors don't want to come near your castle. So if we could resume kind of what we look for in a company, it's really three things. And the competitive advantages, which we could say is the artistic part of that, the financial strength, which is really the science part, and the management team. And this is where judgment comes into play. It's very important <coughs> to be able to judge management. And you know, that's kind of a subjective thing when you talk about judgment. But you know, I always say I have this phrase that when you meet a management, you ask yourself, would I like this man to marry my daughter? And if their answer is yes, it's probably a good man to, to be partnered with. So we end up with something like 125 stocks that fit our criteria. And the ones that we do buy for the portfolio are the ones that fit our criteria in terms of market valuation. That we can buy at a price today that we hope we can earn something like 15% going forward yearly.